So accessibility is always a really tricky thing with remote learning. I think it's one of the hardest things to get right for uh, lots of needs and lots of people. Um, bear in mind there's lots out there and again if you're using things that aren't built for education or aren't built with special needs in mind or accessibility in mind you might find it harder to, to plug those things in. Um, but there's lots of different screen readers, there's lots of different text-to-speech, speech-to-text. Uh, if you're using Zoom and you're sharing a PowerPoint and you're on the latest Office 365, you can uh, click a button and it will live caption for you while you're talking uh, through everything. So, And then if you do that as a recorded video, you've got a, a ready caption videos. Other things, there's loads of different tools online that are free to use that caption your videos. There's mistakes, but you can usually edit and type in the bits where there's made big mistakes. But it does make it a lot more accessible and make it easier for people to follow if they're not. Um, also, if they're just not able to kind of listen at this time that you're doing the, the live.